Hello, this is Dr. Walker. I'm living in uh, Virginia at this point. Um, this is a request for some assistance with my charity, the Christiana Gordon Foundation, uh, named after my grandmother, who means a whole, whole uh, lot to me. Um, I've been sort of involved with charity work since 2011, uh, working with a group out of Florida, going to Jamaica twice per year, um, essentially seeing patients in makeshift uh, like clinics like in a church or in schools and, and, and so forth, seeing upwards of 100 patients a day, usually in, in July and then again in December is what we do. Uh, but it's so rewarding to get there and see these patients and sometimes just giving them things like, you know, um, Tylenol or multivitamin. They're so, so appreciative. Um, which is why I, I, I do it, sort of giving back. Um, uh, it's been a couple of years now, but <clears throat> my wife and I have been doing something in addition to that. We go, um, like this last time we went to Jamaica back in uh, in July. Um, and what we're doing is we're taking um, these kids um, out to dinner. Um, the kids who are top in their class, for example, the number one kid in, in, in each of these classes, we take them out to dinner. And it's just really encourage them and essentially let them know that we appreciate what it is they're doing and working hard in the situations or conditions that they're living in sometimes. Um, but they, 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 just to watch the little eyes and faces when they get to a restaurant, many of them have never been to a restaurant before, but we bring them backpacks and books and we pay for their books um, as well for the kids who are first and second in their grades pay for their books, bring them book bags, pencils and pens and, and those kinds of things. And um, what we're telling them is essentially that, you know, each year that you're number one in your class, we will be back and we will sort of bring you book bags and take you out to dinner and essentially show, show our appreciation for what it is you're doing. Um, and I do that because I realized this could have been, um, this could have been me had things not aligned themselves uh, well. Um, but it's been getting me to think about um, things in general. And uh, one of the things that I've been thinking about now for a couple of years at least, is creating a school for kids who are bright, but do not have the resources or finances to making, uh, making ends meet. And really what it turns out to be is that if they don't have their 20 bucks or 25 bucks to buy their books for that class, they're just not getting it, not getting to the next level, if you would. And so they end up sort of, you know, um, doing a menial task. And my thought is that if you can help some of these kids um, become educated and get a chance to do something with themselves, they can also reach back and help their families and parents and, and, and so forth. Because a lot of them, you know, end up sort of doing menial things or things that, you know, um, that they end up having to do because they need to eat, they need to make money, they need to, um, you know, uh, have shelter and so forth. So they'll end up sort of pickpocketing, pickpocketing folks and robbing and, you know, and stealing and those kind of things. And uh, only if they'd had a chance from the beginning to um, get an education again, they can go back and help themselves. So I'm, I'm looking for some assistance essentially in creating a, a school. I know exactly where it's going to be, where it, uh, it should be. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a thought to sort of identify kids who have financial needs, um, and are bright, could come to this school free of charge, um, and get an education. And again, I think if they get an education, they could help their families and even friends, um, to uplift them as a, as a, as a whole and do some really good things for themselves. But I would need help, um. And again, this has been thinking back and forth about this for a little while. Oprah started her school back in 2007, and that um, really was um, kind of kindled this thought that I had in my mind in terms of bringing that same sort of process to Jamaica. Um, you know, but the, the downside is there are lots of people in Jamaica that's doing well for themselves, and when they do well for themselves, and they end up leaving Jamaica, and so you end up having um, people who are not able to get out, essentially they're, they're sort of, they're, they're sort of stuck, but, um, 
there are lots of people who are doing well. And so if we can reach out to some of those people, um, you know, some of the, 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 the musical folks, um, you know, uh, um, Bolt, for example, a um, uh, sports person, lots of sports people in Jamaica that's doing really well. So if we can reach out to some of those folks and, and have them sort of just give back a little bit, um, then we can, you know, give back to the country a little bit. And I suspect it's going to cost me somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of, you know, three or four million dollars, which for some people is a drop in, 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 in the bucket. I don't have that. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't have that. I have enough to, you know, to sustain myself and my family sort of thing. But to do what I'm thinking about doing, um, which is the school piece, um, it's going to take a little bit of an effort um, and, and people essentially contributing and uh, giving some assistance to uh, to the project. But the school will be called, will be called, if it comes to fruition, it'll be called Christiana. It should be in uh, in Chester Castle in, in Hanover um, is where my thought would uh, for it to be. Um, and it's, again, the intent is to identify kids who are uh, high financial needs that um, are bright and bright enough to come to the school and everything is, is available to them in the school and all they have to do is essentially study and um, um, and get it, you know. And, and I do this because I, I really see myself as one of those kids. I could have been, again, um, one of them end up being, you know, uh, uh, being something less than I desire for myself. Um, but some people, they don't have that didn't get that chance and opportunity, and so that's what I'm trying to make for some some people. The medical mission part of that will still happen regardless of what happens with this. Um, my going to Jamaica and taking care of those kids still, as long as I have breath in me and I have a job, um, um, and you know, my, my wherewithal, I'm, I'm going to make that, that piece happen. So the medical mission piece will continue, absolutely. The, uh, the Christiana Gordon, uh, foundation piece in terms of going to Jamaica, seeing those kids once a year, taking them out to dinner, buying their books, and paying their um, school fees and so forth. That piece will happen still. Um, again, any support from that to that end would be would be great. But um, the bigger piece to that would be getting that um, that school again. It's it it's going to be a beast, I know, but. Um, uh, if, if I can get that rolling, get that done, um, I don't know, I think, I think it would mean, I would have meaning to my life, really good, really, really strong meaning, I, I think, to my life. Um, I've done some good things for myself and my family, uh, a lot of it thanks to my wife, um, but I, I think we can, uh, we can do more as a people. Um, not just me, but again, if sort of each of us help each other uh, out along the way, things for all of us are, are easier and better long term. So that's my vision, my view, my goal. Thank you for listening and watching. Thanks for your support.